This lamp's cute, but it costs $1,800. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to make one myself. This is not going to be easy. I will make mistakes, but I will not stop until I am confident that I have conquered this task. So here's what I know about this lamp. The base is made out of terracotta and the top is made of some kind of straw by the looks of it. It costs $1,800 on first dibs. And I also know that I like it. So I really thought this was going to be straightforward to make. Surely if I find some pieces of terracotta and make a straw hat kind of thing, that's it, right? Wrong. It's actually quite complicated. So let's start with the lamp. I'm removing the lampshade and keeping this wire structure part from the inside. Knowing that I've got the basic structure of a lamp sorted, let's focus on the terracotta. I'll link to this one below because I think it's really good. From my research, it seems that this brand is really the most legit and it really is the brand that you want your clay to come from. So my thinking is there's three real shapes here, a semisphere, a cone and a ring. How can I create these shapes? I'm going to use a bowl as the mold. I honestly wish I had a plastic bowl that I could cut a hole out of for better stability, but this will have to do. Definitely regret putting it straight onto the bowl though. Cling film was the right choice. Now I am ambitious, but I am not delusional. I know there is no way I can create a perfect smooth surface like this. So I'm going to embrace a more handmade look on my version of the lamp. So onto the cone, I bought these cardboard cones from Amazon, I'll link to them below. I put the clay onto it and then I spent a lot of time smoothing it out. It's easy to rush over this type of thing but I recommend just enjoying it as a meditation activity. Or maybe put on an audiobook while you do it. Just get in the zone. Anyway, I thought I was so clever and I was basically almost done at this point. But I was very wrong. But I didn't realise how wrong I was until after the clay had dried. So while it was still drying, I started on the lampshade. Now I still had some straw left over from my woven frame project, so I figured that should work fine. Now for the colour, I was tempted by this bold blue colour, but I knew I wouldn't be able to get such a strong colour with my little set of acrylic paints for beginners. As someone who is completely a beginner when it comes to paints, just figure like brown is the easiest colour to mix. Can you get brown wrong? Turns out you can. Um, I thought I was being really clever because I had this acrylic little sheet and could compare it with the colour I was mixing with the terracotta, but I'm hopeless. It didn't work. And meanwhile, I was looking at the straw and thinking, I kind of like the natural colour, so why don't I just go with that? So I thought I might just play around with some of the straw and see if I can even get this lamp looking like how I want it to look. So I started tying pieces of straw along the top of that piece that came from the original lamp. It seemed to be working okay, but it wasn't the best way to do it. Eventually I tried doing bunches of three to four strands at a time, and this was way quicker to do, and it looked exactly the same. Now if I didn't have this straw left over from a previous project, I would have bought this pre-coloured stuff that I found on Etsy, I'll link to it below but it comes in all different colors. It takes away the responsibility of having to be like a color mixer and just allows you to get a bunch all colored, all the same, as much as you need, ready to go. So I would definitely do that if I didn't have this. But back to the incoming disaster of the terracotta base. I was so proud of myself for waiting four days for this to dry. I literally left it alone. Usually I would have fiddled with it and touched it and broken something, but no, I was so well behaved. Removing the bowl and the cling film was easy. And even though there were some cracks, I made the most of it and used the larger one as an opportunity for the cord to feed through out the back. It would have been much easier to have included that in my shape originally. So I'll remember that for next time. The cone shape was also looking good. It was all going so easy until uh oh, how did I not realize this? It doesn't fit over the light fitting. 
So after much fiddling around, I sadly cut my creation in half. And then I brought back the cardboard, cut it along vertically and assembled it all like this. My plan is to mold a new piece of clay on top of this form and blend it in really carefully around the seams and hopefully you won't be able to tell. I touched up some bits on the bottom bowl and then added the ring and I'm just crossing my fingers that it's not gonna crack. Okay, it cracked. I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Like, it just happens with air dry clay whenever there's a lot of moisture or when the clay is thin. Now, I, I could have just gone with it. Like, it kind of fits the vibe. I definitely could have embraced it and just gone, this is what it is. But I'm not happy with that. I wanna try and get this a lot closer to the original lamp that I'm trying to copy. So the only way to remove the cone was to destroy it, sadly because it was molded on. But at least this time I've done it once, I've made the mistakes, I can get it right next time. So I decided to try the bowl again as well. Even though the bowl was fine, I think that I'll just make a second one and compare the two and then I have a choice. Like, that's great, you know? So here we go. Now that I've made all the mistakes you could possibly make, let's go ahead and create these again. And this time, not make any mistakes. While I did this, I tested out my little backup plan, which was testing out the idea if I could try paint instead of clay, just as like an alternative. Would it look any good? So I ended up buying this bowl on Amazon and then I had more cones left. So I just mixed baking soda and paint to test out how close we could get. And once it's done, we can compare the two. Okay, so now I'm just waiting for these to dry. I would say, like, I, I think I like this one better. It's just, it's just got that texture of the terracotta. Like, I just really like it. But that said, if you didn't want to do that, you could definitely get, like, so this one obviously needs one more coat of the paint and then I need to also do it on top of this once it dries. But this actually probably will end up looking closer to the original one. And I think if you didn't want to mess with clay or you wanted something a little bit neater looking, this is definitely an easier way to do it. And the choice would be either you could drill the middle of the bowl so that you could feed a lamp through it and then just chop at the top here. Or you could just have a cord coming down the back and just let it be disguised by the lampshade. So after doing one more coat of the paint, it was time to test out the lampshade. Now the time has come to put this onto the lamp. And the bit that I've been putting off is giving this a haircut. I'm scared I'm gonna get it wrong. Now, this has split as it dried, but I've just moved it around so that it'll be at the back so you won't see it. But lesson learned, I should have put more effort into sealing that together. It's done the same thing on this one. So clearly I just didn't have the right technique. But like this one's fine. This is just like a test to see, could you do it this way rather than with clay? And I think looking at them like this, yeah, you could, you could do either one. This one definitely looks probably closer to the thing that I'm copying, but I personally like the look of, of the clay and I like how hand done it looks. I actually, I, I do like this one better, but that's your alternative if you're not interested in using clay. So what I'm gonna do now is put the top on here and then I'm gonna trim it. I'm, I'm really nervous about stuffing it up. Now, if you look, if you look at this one, it goes up point more pointy than this one. So when I look at the lamp that I'm actually copying, you see that the cone goes right up to the top and then the, the lampshade starts. That, that's not really what I'm gonna achieve here, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Like I think overall, we're pretty close to success. So yeah, this is the bit I'm nervous about. 
We're gonna stick this on and give it a haircut. There's two things I'm thinking about. I need this to stay long enough that it covers like this top bit here where it's a bit ugly, but short enough that you can still like enjoy the base, you know, and see it properly. So I've got to get that length really right. And one thing that I have in my head is this, I don't know if this is going to, if, if because this is long right now, if that's pulling down the straw and if I cut it, it might spread a little bit, I don't know. There's only one way to find out how this is gonna play out and that is to do it.